hello to all my friends out there. So now I'm eating my stockpile down. For the, I don't know, until I eat the stockpile down, I'm going to have to buy very little food. So one thing I did is I went to Dollar Tree and I bought some fries. Um, I try to find frozen uh, sweet potatoes as well. So that I'm not really adding much expenses to eating my stockpile down. I don't want to do that. I, at this time, I want to save money. I want to do this habitually. Oh, I want to do this habitually. Uh, okay, I'll show you the bag. This is the two ba pound bag of, of fries I bought at uh, Dollar Tree. And now I'm excited because the next thing I made was a tasty little batch of chicken. And I'm sure that this smells so yummy. And I'm super happy because it's everything. I found this recipe. Ooh, yummy. This is everything I have in the stockpile. And it's using my cornmeal. So this is super good. I'm so hungry. I've been so busy. I've been so festive. <laughs> I was so tired. Oh my gosh. That's okay. Christmas will soon be over and then we can all rest. Ooh, yummy, yummy. So you might be wondering where I got this delicious recipe. Well, I got it on the back of the um, ooh, the back of the uh, cornmeal can. It's right here. I for two pieces I just made half a batch, one half cup cornmeal. This is good because I'm planning on stocking up. Cornmeal might be something. Uh, one quarter cup flour, um, Parmesan cheese, two tablespoons, one and a half tablespoons Italian seasoning. Um, thank you for the comment, whoever that was. One and one half uh, tablespoon Italian seasoning, one quarter teaspoon garlic salt, uh, one quarter teaspoon pepper, and then, you know, it was supposed to be a whole chicken. Uh, one quarter cup milk, and then, um, and then margarine. And so you mix all the dry ingredients, and, and you soak the chicken in the milk. Okay, I wanted to make a mention of something. So let me salt my tasty fries. Mmm. I find these fries to be good if you've never tasted them. So if you have a stockpile and you have everything on hand, you're much less likely to eat out. Yum, this chicken looks good. I'm so hungry. Doing all that makeup was just so exhausting. Okay, so what I did is I had my evaporated milk in the freezer, and I and I just took it out and it added half water to uh, soak my chicken in. I had, you know, my dollar Italian seasoning. Dollar Tree. Okay, so I had, I wanted to show you guys something. Okay, I got to the bottom of my shortening. That is lard. Okay, if you're low on money, I'll be stocking up on this. You can get lard for a dollar fifty. That's a pound of lard. How much is it? How many pounds is this? This is three pounds. This is still cheaper, but lard is actually pig fat. And I'm surprised lard hasn't gone up yet. Uh oh. My co I have cord issues. Remember. Okay, no. What I had was, I had green beans.
This is how I wreck my Christmas trees, all my cords. I have air, I have all kinds of stuff plugged in. And then I had my bacon. I bought uh, on the Costco bacon. I find it to be pretty good. I like it. I think I like the bacon ends better from Grocery Outlet. I don't know if it was just, you get nice, I've been, I don't know, I can't say that. This has really been good, you know. So I have a half a piece of bacon and a half a can of green beans from my stockpile. And so I made a nice little batch of green beans and bacon to go with my tasty chicken. You know, once you start getting this hang of this stockpile, you might be thinking, well, if I got to eat that, I'm going to be in misery. Now you'll be okay. <laughs> Now I have in my refrigerator at all times, because by the time you guys will be seeing this, it'll be Saturday, but this is actually Friday, Friday. So I want to drink some nice cold diet Pepsi. Um, you know, I see that in, in Walmart, it's up to 125. So you, you don't want to say to yourself, that's just a quarter. No, what you want to say to yourself, that just went up 25%. So now let's try a tasty little bite of this. Ooh, yummy, yummy. This looks good, you guys. You got to try this one. And uh, if they say if you have chicken, rice, and beans, but you know, in my case, I prefer potatoes over rice. This would be good with rice, though. Chicken, rice, and beans. Uh, two pounds of potatoes, though, for a dollar is pretty good. You don't have to peel them. This is a good way when you want to eat your... St Let's try this. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. They have on here for fish. Let me give you another look at the chicken. Uh, this cornmeal mush, this is something you want to be stockpiling up on. And I already made this, um, this cornbread, and I really, really love it. What I did was I used my um, buttermilk I have in the stockpile. Let's see if I can find it. After I open them, I keep them in the refrigerator. And what I did was I mixed all the dry ingredients. And then I mixed all the wet ingredients. And I put the, um, I put the baking powder in the wet ingredients to make sure it was, you know, um, in there, mixed up good. And then I just wet the, I wet the, um flour with the wet ingredients and it was really really good now let me show you uh, something if I can uh, here it is and then now I have cornbread in my freezer but this chicken is really good so the stockpiling is going to save you all kinds of time and all kinds of money. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Happy holidays to everyone, and God bless you all.